Hello everybody and welcome back to my channel. I hope you're doing very well. So today I'm here to show you a bit of a haul I've done slash a try on. So as you guys kind of know like when Christmas is coming up all these kind of makeup brands and places they come up with Christmas stuff. So once Christmas is over they put stuff on discount. So essentially the stuff I got today are stuff that came up for Christmas but are now discounted and pretty much everything I think was like 50% off. Um, I picked up stuff in Boots and Superdrug so there's ones near me so I didn't go very far for them. Um, so let me show you some non makeup stuff first because there's two things a non makeup <coughs> that I won't be putting on essentially. So the first thing I picked up which is so random what I got from Superdrug and it's the Simpsons exfoliating <laughs> foot foot mask um i just love it because it's the simpsons and i love patty and selma so much and this is selma because it has a quote from her on the back because sometimes i can't tell um but yeah this is a, a foot mask essentially um so this was i think it was about two pounds fifty so obviously it must have been like five pounds or something so that's not too bad and apparently you have to leave this on for like an hour and then over the few days your foot start like dead skin starts to peel off i know that's quite disgusting but you know we all need a bit of a pamper sometimes especially with me because my feet are not the best but anyway i'm not <laughs> not too not talking too much about my feet experience so yeah that's one thing that i got the next thing i picked up was something just super cute and super cheap so I got these Minnie Mouse hair clips and um, they were a pound so I mean I, I can only I don't think they were two pounds I think they were much more expensive than that so you get three different hair clips in there um like I said it's a pound um and I normally wear my hair just kind of like this because I'm really lazy but I sometimes like to put like you know clips or headbands or whatever when I saw this for a pound I was like I have to give this a go I mean yeah they're just super cute they're just mini mouse ones so you've got two with like the ears and then one just just a slide so maybe in one of my next videos I'll have them on so <laughs> I've got a couple of um makeup products that I'm actually going to be trying on today and um, the first thing I got I did swatch and it wasn't very good but I've been excited to kind of try it for ages and it's this um, kind of quill eyeliner from Harry Potter from like the Harry Potter collection in boots um, I think I got this for I think it must have been three pounds so essentially what it is it's like an ink block you know like, like an ink pen so you've got the nib which is kind of a brush and then when you it took me ages to kind of figure out where the actual ink was because I was like oh it's not coming out and then I realized that there's a little thing at the bottom here <coughs> that is here so what I didn't realize is this is actually like a shimmer eyeliner but when I was trying it on I mean I swatched it on my hands it wasn't coming out very well um and it doesn't look like it's very pigmented um so I don't know if I'll be I mean I'll try and use it today but I don't think it will be that good I mean the brush isn't too bad but yeah it's a bit of a waste of money to be honest but I didn't know that I didn't realize I mean it says glitter gel liner which fair enough but it just doesn't look as pigmented so let's go on to the next product I got a eyeshadow palette from uh, makeup obsession and it was normally six pounds but I got it for three pounds and it is this basic palette um on the front here it tells you what the shades are so when i got home and opened it it actually looks quite nice so i'll be using it today um it's like a so i can't even talk so neutrals and then you've got like a red at the bottom here so you're just seeing my random crap in the background um yeah i'll just be doing like a neutral look today so i'm quite excited to try it if it's pigmented we shall see but back in the day like makeup obsession have got really good eyeshadow palettes like they're all really good price and for six pounds I I mean the So Dope palette was six pounds or ten pounds um and some of the other ones as well like the rectangle ones they're six pounds they're really really good so I can't wait to try this palette um and then the last thing I got was a little set so I like using Benefit but I ha I'm not always the biggest fan so for Christmas they had this little collection so up here you get 
a mascara, you get a mini professional primer, and you get a um, gimme brow. So one thing I found quite strange, because before it was Christmas, I went and had a look at what was around, and the beauty person at the counter had said that they only have shade three in these sets. Now, it's the most popular shade, but what about everyone else? You know, just because that shade is very popular doesn't mean everyone else is that shade. Um, I don't think I am, well, I'm, I know I'm not shade three because it's such a light brown. Um, I will try it today just to kind of see if it does anything for my eyebrows. Um, I have got a Benefit um, kind of like gimme brow pencil, which is nice. I'm, I need to get used to using these brow things because I'm not very good at them. Um, so yeah, I'll be using a, quite. A few, I'll be using all these products today, um, and they're quite a decent size. Like the the box itself, I'll use to put things in because I could put maybe brushes or I can put mini lipsticks or whatever crap. So yeah, let me just show you guys. It comes in this really cute packaging, um, and like I said, you get a little professional which. It's quite nice, I've tried it before. You get the roller lash, which I've not tried before, but I really want to try. And then I've got the Gimme Brow Gel. So that is what I picked up. I will be putting on makeup today because I look like crap and I feel like crap because my neck has been hurting for the past three or four days now and I can't move a lot. So the back of my neck here, every time I move, I'm like, Ugh. so, um, Putting on some makeup is going to cheer me up. So let's get on with the professional first. Like I mentioned, I have, I'm pretty sure I have tried this before. Yeah, I've definitely tried one of their Benefit primers before. Um, and have I got my brush note? We're just going to use my finger. I literally just washed my hands before I started anyway. Um, and this primer, I, I think I remember has a bit of tint to it. Um, not a tint, but kind of like a shimmer to it. And I remember it would be quite a nice... Um, primer but I didn't pick it up again because I mean like I said Benefit I have tried a few products but they're not my favorite they're obviously known to be about eyebrows and stuff like that and I've had my eyebrows done by them once and they're really nice people they do them really nicely obviously not recently <laughs> this is a while ago um, and when I've tried some of the other products they're nice but I just feel they're a little bit overpriced in my opinion um so that was the primer beforehand i did put on one of my face milks so i put on my coconut um one by colourpop so with my foundation i'm going in with the fit me by maybelline in the shade 104 so we're just taking a small amount today because i've started to use kind of a bit you know less and less uh, foundation because my skin has been looking pretty good <laughs> recently um, I don't want to speak too quickly because I don't want to jinx it but you know it's it's nice people have noticed about how clear my skin has been looking and I really appreciate uh, the kind comments as well because it makes me feel a lot more kind of um, you know a bit more at ease even though not a lot of people would kind of come up well my friends essentially wouldn't come up to me and go oh my god what's wrong with your face like it it's more strangers <laughs> that would do it but now when my friends and some of my family are saying oh your skin looks really good and I'm just like thank you I appreciate it because I struggled so much with how bad my skin looks like if you go back to some of my earlier videos you can see how bad my skin looks but Again, that's the problem with rosacea. It's very, um, there's nothing you can do about it apart from just trying to maintain a good skincare routine. But obviously now I had antibiotics to help me. Um, so I hope that they do help for a while. Uh, I'm just going to set everything down with my um, one of my project pans. And this is the Revolution Matte Powder. So far, I think my project pan, I mean, I've, I've been doing it for a week, but so far I feel like I am using a lot of these products a bit more, like especially this face milk and definitely the powder because the powder I absolutely adore, like this powder, I mean, if you've seen any of my other videos, you would know how much I've used, I use this like all the time. Um, and even now when I'm kind of 
close to hitting pan on it <laughs> I'll be very happy but then we'll see if I'll pick up another revolution powder or something just because they're all quite good so next I'm going to go in with a blush and I'm going in with another one of my project patterns it's the heartbreakers palette some of these products are not new I just thought I would like put on a full face on camera as well because why not be yeah just something to kind of show you guys another part of my routine um, and then let's go on with highlighter and I've only used this once but I thought I wanted to use it again it's the elf um, kind of highlighter and blush duo but I'm just using the highlighter today and this is in like the shade of like lychee so as I mentioned before these might be a bit too uh, I mean not really for like the color might not be right for me but if I see them in store again, I mean, this is coming out quite nice <laughs> for once because normally it takes a while for highlighters to work really well on me, especially because of my lighting. But we're looking all right. So I want to attempt to do my brows now. If I mess up, I'm really sorry. I'm just not very good at doing anything with my eyebrows. So I'm just going to use the mirror from my palette because I forgot my mirror. <laughs> So you've got a really small brush here and we're just going to brush through. Yeah, this is not my shade like automatically, like I don't know if you can see. Um, it's just really light. And I found, I did find it very strange that I know it's difficult for some companies to um, like make so many batches of a certain shade for people and obviously people not buy it and blah 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 but if you have a nice wide selection of shades for eyebrows be a bit more inclusive when it comes to gift sets because I know a lot of obviously gift sets don't um, do foundations and they don't do concealers and all that stuff but obviously a brand that does eyebrow stuff um, just using your most popular shade is not going to get, there's that alarm, um, is not going to get all your customers to try and purchase from you. Um, I'm just going to let that go by because this is the area that I live in, oh my god. Right, so now I'm going to go on to the eyes. I mean, you can see that I've put down a lot of product because it has kind of filled in my brows, but... If it's my shade, that's another question, but I haven't done my eyebrows in a while because they look freaking horrible. So, like I said, this is the Basics palette by Makeup Obsession. I got it for three quid, so let's hope it works. So, I am first going to go in with the shade Standard, which is at the bottom here. I'm just going to take one of my Morphe brushes and I'm just going to sit a bit closer so you guys can see me and so my neck doesn't hurt anymore even though it really is so let's start off here we're not doing a crazy look today because this is a neutrals palette so i don't think i'll be able to do a crazy look anyway okay i don't have any primer on my eyes as well because I thought let's see how it goes without and this is not like a test on this palette I know that Makeup Obsession do some really nice look do some nice uh, pans so you know at first when I picked this up I thought this was um XX Revolution because the packaging is really quite kind of similar to theirs because they like boots have a big um xx revolution section as well but i thought let me pick up this palette because it was three pounds and xx revolution i think for one of their many palettes was 12 and it would have been six i know that's not a big amount but just can't be bothered <laughs> so let's go in with basic glam next which is a darker one so i'm just going to darken up the edges i'm going to use the same brush and just a small amount there's a lot of fallout already i don't know how that's really happened considering i didn't add a lot on okay. 
So far it's looking not too bad. Mm. That's cool. It's okay. So I'm always like mumbling to myself when <laughs> I like something. I'm like, mmm, mmm. Okay. Yeah, you can see even on camera, you can see the fallout. <laughs> Damn, didn't think it was that bad. Okay. So there's a lot of fallout in the pan as well, which is okay. I mean, they're big pans, so they're not going to mix into another one. That's looking all right. Let's go in with another brush and I'm going to go in with the shade. Uh, let's go in with a shimmer now. Let's go in with stripped back, which is just here. <laughs> uh, let's take this fluffy brush instead because this hopefully will work. Oh yeah, that's pretty good. Yeah, like I said, today is not going to be a glamour look. That's pretty good. Yeah, you can see very well. And with this palette, you can do a lot of just nice, simple looks too. So you don't have to go completely crazy if you're kind of, I mean, obviously not at the moment we're going to see people, but if you do end up going to like see friends you just want something really just nice and casual then this palette is pretty nice for that it's not um there's there's just a lot of looks that you can do so yeah this is pretty good i mean three pounds i ain't gonna complain on that i mean it's pigmented i mean the shade selection is a little bit boring but if this is a basic palette the word basic so if you have much to complain about that don't buy a palette that says basic on there so let's go on to mascara and we're going in with the roller lash by benefit and mm, i'm not actually used this before the bristles is quite quite cute let's go in and let's see how it works separating my lashes Nicely. So this is an older mascara, so this is not anything new. And I do know that with these mini ones, you can buy it by themselves, and I think they're about £12. So buying this set is pretty, like, you're going to save yourself a bit of money, because if you buy everything by itself for £12, 12 times 3 is like £35 or something like that, um, and then... And, th and then if you buy this as a set and you get a little tin with it and it was only, initially it was only maybe 30, it was 13 50 So it's pretty good from good sales. There was another set that I wanted. I think it was like a blue set and it had um, a mini uh, hula bronzer. But I mean, I don't really bronze a lot, which is... <laughs> I mean, I know I should because I'm quite pale, but um, they had sold out of that one. So maybe if I see it in another store, I might pick it up. What I'm going to do, I'm going to do my lips off camera because I always do my lips off camera now. So I'm just using my KVD liner and I'm going in with my XX Revolution liquid lipstick in the shade Laid. I thought I'd lost this, but it was in one of my bags. So I'm just going to do this off camera and I'll be right back. All right, so I put my lips on. And my lips are looking quite smaller. I have absolutely no idea how they look smaller than normal. But I really love this lipstick so much. It's actually probably one of my favourite products from XX Revolution. Because some of their line was a bit hit and miss. But yes, this is my finished look. Just a nice simple look with some products that I purchased. Uh, but yeah, thank you so much for watching. Hope you have enjoyed the video. Please don't forget to like and subscribe because I film and upload every time I get a chance to. I'm so close to 100, it's insane. Thank you so much to everyone who has subscribed. I really, really appreciate it. Um, yeah, I'll see you guys tomorrow with another video because I got time off, so I'm bringing out these videos. Don't know what that is because I ain't getting no money from anything. But yeah. <laughs> so much. I'll see you guys very soon. Bye!